I believe that getting your EMT to gain your necessary hours of healthcare experience for PA school is the absolute best road to take. In this video, I'm gonna explain why, give you some tips on bridging EMT to free PA and PA school and all that. I've seen so many people do it successfully. I want you to be successful as well. Here we go. Hey everyone, it's Paramedic Coach here, back at you with a brand new video. I want you to hit that like button, smash that like button down below, hit subscribe, and tap that notification bell. Now, without any further ado, let's dive in to the video. So right now, you wanna become a PA. You wanna go to PA school and you're looking to get healthcare experience. I'll tell you right from the beginning, I cannot recommend getting your EMT highly enough. And here's why. The great thing about getting your EMT is you're gonna get a tremendous amount of healthcare experience, like in the literal terms. And the reason is, the reason why, is because you're gonna be on your own taking care of patients. It's gonna be you and your partner, right? One of you is gonna be you know, assisting and then ultimately driving the hospital, while the other one is in charge of patient care and taking care of that patient. There's a lot of ambulance services, and I'm not, I'm not sure where you live, but there is a ton of ambulance services that are in rural areas where EMTs, uh, two EMTs out there, are running scenes, are doing a tremendous amount of the EMS work without a paramedic, just because there's not a paramedic available. So I wanna dismay anything, any idea that you will not get a tremendous experience becoming an EMT, because you will, okay? Whether it's rural or in the city. Now that I've handled that, I wanna talk to you about the course itself. Let's go into that next. Now the EMT course, the best part about it, EMT school traditionally is only about three or four months. It could be at a community college. It could be an EMS academy. It could be a volunteer fire department, right? Those are some of the most traditional places to find an EMT school. Now, with EMT school, you could, and I've had students I've you know, uh, consulted on this, you could do the EMT class alongside some of your college classes or makes you more comfortable. You could also take a semester off and just hyper-focus on the EMT or maybe take one last class. I'm gonna leave that up to you because I'm not sure if you're a part-time student, a full-time student, or where you're at. I would tell you this, and this would be a, a, a great thing you could do. You could get your EMT certification very early on, right? Maybe even before you go to college. That'd be great, right? You already have it. And then throughout college, you're EMT, EMT, EMT. That's pretty cool. By the time you're out, you have tremendous experience as an EMT and that while you're going through college. That's an option for you. Maybe you just figured out right now that you want to become a PA, right? And maybe you're totally, have been, it was just totally fair with the PA profession. You're totally out of the loop. You haven't been in the medical field. Here you are. You need to do something. You need to get experience. That's the best part about EMT. It's only three to four months long, right? And you're going to be seeing critical patients. You're going to be seeing traumatic car accidents. You're going to be seeing traumatic emergencies, all kinds, medical emergencies. You're going to be seeing overdoses. You're going to be seeing uh, cardiac arrests. You're going to be seeing really bad asthmatics. What other field could you see a large variety of patients than emergency medicine, right? And you're going to really see if medicine is right for you, becoming an EMT as well, because you see a variety of patients. You may be, you know what? I, when, I work with, when I'm taking care of a cardiac patient, I really enjoy that. I understand it. When I study about it, you know, I really get it. That might be you. Does that make sense? You might have that thought to yourself, and that may lead you to the path where you end up in PA school, right? Pretty cool. Now, going towards the PA path, did you know that the PA profession actually started out of the military, right? So EMS was born out of the military. EMS wouldn't even be a thing if it wasn't for the military, right? So what does that mean? Wouldn't that make sense? Wouldn't that be a natural path for you to take going to get your EMT? It's in that realm. Exactly. It's the exact designed path for you, it makes perfect sense for you 
to get your EMT, which came out of the military, came through the same path that the PA profession was born out of. So of course it makes sense for you to do that, right? And you're gonna be rubbing shoulders with paramedics who are trained at the advanced life support level. They hold, I'll put them on the screen here, some of the certifications, uh, ACLS, PALS. Uh, some may hold advanced trauma life support, but at the very least hold uh, PHDOS, right? You're gonna be with these providers every single day and you can gain knowledge from them. You're working with them 24 hour shifts, eight hour shifts, 12 hour shifts. The other thing I like about EMS is unlike other things that you could do to get experience, and this is a great thing about EMS, is a variety of shifts. So it works around your school schedule, right? Or if you're in an area where you have to volunteer as an EMT, right, to get experience, that's fine. But guess what? It'll work around your schedule either way, right? And the final thing I will tell you about that volunteer piece is unlike other professions, you're pretty much guaranteed to get experience because there's always gonna be a volunteer ambulance near you. So you're guaranteed to get a job, if you will, right, right out of EMT. So what I tell everyone to do is as soon as you get your EMT, start applying like crazy and then find a volunteer ambulance service near you. Now, I'm not saying, you know, I wouldn't tell you to do anything I haven't done. But when I first started off as an EMT, I would volunteer one to two shifts a week as a volunteer EMT until I landed the job that allowed me to fit on my schedule, right? And then I went from there. So that's my advice for you. You can get started right away. So think about this. In a matter of a few months, you can be taking care of patients and gain the healthcare experience you need seeing a wide array of patients. EMT is the way to go. That's all I got to say for this one. I got one more message for you. Now, if you're one of these three people, if you're getting ready for school, whether it's EMT, advanced EMT, paramedic, or you're in school right now and you want to understand this content cold, you want to understand it at a deep level so you can be the best you can be inside of medicine or you are someone getting ready for your national registry or state exams right now, click the link down below, get access to my video study course. I'm gonna give you a pearl, a gem right here. If you are someone watching this video right now, especially you're on that track and you maybe wanna be a PA one day, I have 180 plus videos of content inside this video study course. This will give you a tremendous leg up on learning medicine because the course includes pre-EMT all the way to paramedic. So you can be learning ALS stuff from the course just by watching it. And if you go right now, I give you a lifetime access to the course so you can have it and continue to watch it for life. My friends, thank you so much for the kind words. Thanks for all the shout outs and spreading the word here about what I do. Louie means the world to me and I will see you next time. Take care. Waste, don't waste any time. Don't, don't be hesitant and just do it because I know this program works. And I know it's, it got me to where I was where it's been a year without school from EMT to, hey, I passed my test in 70 questions, like, go for it, you could do it. Like, do not hesitate and don't waste any time. People that don't know you, they need to, they need this program. This program is not a, a choice. To me, this program is a have to. I went through it, I, I spent the time and money in other areas, and I'm, I'm just gonna let you guys know that uh, this was everything I was searching for the whole time. The first couple of videos I watched, um, when I noticed it, it just, I, I just immediately started connecting dots um, on some of these things I, I didn't have grasped. People who are getting ready for paramedic school, or if you're getting ready to go in the Navy as a corpsman or as an Army medic, um, you gotta prepare yourself. Evan, I know you've got a program that helps people prepare that way. So bottom line is guys, you don't ever wanna hear something for the first time with a bunch of other students. So if you're in a competitive learning environment, you don't want to hear about AFib for the first time where everybody else, you want to have an understanding of it before you walk in the room.